So, got full team whisperer out. All this earth was just in behind the back of the pond there. We're in the middle of just marking out the string lines, working out the size of the pond. The uh, concrete foundation out. Absolutely banging spade that is. One load at a time, baby. Make your mother for the rabbits. How many more feet, love? This is the worst. This is the hardest, and it is the worst. I will never, ever give up. And smack that down, me gizzard. Do another two foot to go. Oh, what an idea. I ain't building new pond. <laughs> Just want to start this video off by saying thank you so much for all the support that you give me if you haven't already subscribe to this channel hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the future uploads let's just crack straight on with the video this is where we're at still got to take out all of this this is my job today take out all of this all this earth was just in behind the back of the pond there so i've got to get rid of all of that before i can even start digging get rid of this get a skip for the for the mud got that coming this week Right, so I've got all the uh, concrete foundation out. I'm waiting for the skips to turn up. I'm just digging out all the way up through here. Piling it up over there. Piling it up over there. I'm going to move all of this over to that side. You wouldn't believe it, but all of this come from behind the back of the pond. Absolutely loads of it. I'm just going to fill this whole entire corner up with earth. And then when my skips turn up, I can load it from there, load it to there, and then load it up around the side. I've got my new spade absolutely banging spade that is a subscriber very kindly sent me that one i did put a post out on my facebook page to say thank you what an absolute beast of a spade that is happy happy days what's you doing so we're in the middle of just marking out the string lines working out the size of the pond making sure everything's square and plumb like what you've got to do i use the famous spray paint give me a rough guide i will redo it again this just gives us a rough idea where we're at, what we got to do, and how much digging I've got to do. What you got to do, you got to do. And if anyone wants to help digging, just drop me a message if you live in Devon. Drop me a message, and I'll be more than happy to have your help. Sunday roast, every Sunday, whoever else. How about that? Thank you, mother of a rabbit. How many more feet, love? Let me give me breath. Whew. Still another two foot to go. Oh. What an idea. I ain't building a new pond. <laughs> Get on, boys. Any takeaway you want, you keep grafting all day, I will buy you anything that you want for takeaway. What do they call it? Child labour. <laughs> so, just bring up all of your schoolmates and just tell them they come round and help. I will buy them any takeaway that they want. I'm sure they'll grab the opportunity of that. is really hard there's no chance of digging it so we're softening the ground and then shoveling it out one load at a time baby make your mother for the rabbits and it was the morning after so yesterday we ended up getting quite a bit dug out we was at it all day we got a fair old pile up my plan today is to get this round the front, get it loaded up into the skips, and then start digging a bit more. I do apologise, I couldn't get that many film filming done yesterday, down to the fact it was bank holiday, weather was banging, there was a few people having a few barbecues, and I don't blame them, but there was music playing, and obviously with copyright issues on YouTube, I'm not allowed to film it, or I'm not allowed to share that with you guys, so... I do apologise about the lack of films that I've put out while doing this dig. But like I said, with copyright, with other music 
playing through people's gardens. I, I just really couldn't film it to put it out on the YouTube channel because I don't know if you guys know, but if you get free copyright strikes on your YouTube channel, YouTube automatically just delete your whole channel. So got to be a little bit careful what you film and things like that. But this is where we're at. Got a fair old hole. Hell of a dig. Hell of a lot of earth. And I've still got a little more digging to do. So I'm going to crack on the day and get as much done as possible. And I'll be back with you shortly. So, got full team whisperer out. And got Toby's mate. We're certainly getting there. But one thing's for sure. This is not easy. This is not easy. We filled up two skips already. It's absolutely unbelievable the amount of earth that comes out of the ground. Out of all the jobs that we've done so far, this is the worst. This is the hardest and it is the worst. Anyone thinking about building a pond? Anyone thinking about how, how much earth and rubble that you have to take out of a pond? Certainly think twice about how you're gonna do it. Because <clears throat> this has surprised me. How much just keeps coming and we're not even there yet. We're not even there yet. Crazy. I apologise about the amount of footage that I've put out. I've been cracking on as much as I possibly can. And I haven't stopped. And I can tell you one thing for sure. This is, this is really testing me. Pushing me to the absolute maximum. But there's one thing for sure. I will never, ever give up. Nor will you. And nor will you. Because it's in our blood, isn't it, boy? Yep. It's in our blood. Eat, sleep, work, repeat. Happy days. Not so happy about it, mine. But we're getting there. So then, after a massive, long day's hard graft, I've still got a little bit left to take out here. But all of that is gone. Got rid of the lot. We have filled the skips to the absolute maximum. I'm gonna have to get another skip. One more, I think. Get rid of this. And then because this is where my filter house is gonna be, the height of the water, I gotta get a string line out tomorrow, mark it off of here, run it across, and then work out the depth before my concrete base goes in for the height of the drum filter for water level because that's going to run off gravity so i've got to work that out that i might need to lose a portion of earth here because this is the high spot of the of the ground but i can also lose some of this earth over there to level out the ground a little bit so back to the drawing board tomorrow work out where things are work out obviously this has to go no that's no that's 100 dead so that has to go but it's back to the drawing board and just make sure that everything's right and I've got rid of enough earth before I think about anything else. But what a day's graft. Absolutely knackered. I'm going in because I'm having Chinese tonight. I need a takeaway. I need to get some extra food in the system. And then I'll start all over again tomorrow. Happy, happy days. That's what you call the absolute hammer. I got a bit of everything. We got a bit of mixed concoction. And I'm going to smack that down my gizzard. And tomorrow I'm going to get out and do a lot more pond work. Happy, happy days. Mmm.